Hey, what's up guys? Uh, part of our workout here at an Iron and Blood uh, involves using static holds as a time under tension finisher. Okay, so uh, I wanted to go over uh, a small tutorial about one of the movements that we use here, and that is the bottoms up uh, goblet squat hold. All right, um, kettlebells in the bottoms up position, just like it sounds. So you're gonna get this kettlebell up one of two ways. You're either going to cross clean it and move it to this bottoms up position, or pick it up to the hip and go thumbs in and bring it up to this position. All right, I'm gonna squat down, keeping the bottoms up on the kettlebell. And hold it. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, I'm not going ass to grass to the point where I disengage. If you have, if you have really good uh, like hip and ankle mobility, and you can really get ass to grass on your squat, um, it, it's 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 good to have that kind of mobility. Uh, but what can happen is at the bottom of your squat, if you go ass to grass, um, you have a tendency to disengage down there and then spring to stand up. So I can go pretty deep on a squat to here and I can sit here for as long as I need to sit here. The problem is I'm a little disengaged at the bottom. So if you have really good mobility, that ass to grass mobility at the bottom of the squat, I'm gonna want you to push into the floor and raise your ass this much. You can feel your legs come on. Okay, so that I'm not disengaged and floating down here. I'm tense and I'm pressed into the floor. Okay, how that looks from the side. is right here. Okay, now there are three versions of that hole at the bottom. There is a scale version, there's an intermediate version, and there's an advanced version, all right? The scale version involves anchoring in. The intermediate is what I was just doing to where our elbows aren't locked in, but the kettlebell is close to our center mass. The advanced version is gonna have you extend the kettlebell away from the center mass a little bit. So, in order, how that looks, is inter, uh, scale, where my elbows are locked in, intermediate, where my elbows are free, and advanced, where the kettlebell is farther away. You're gonna hold that for time. Okay, we often do uh, multiple rounds of one minute on, one minute off with that. So. What I would suggest is maybe start at 30 seconds, hit the bottom, maybe start in that scaled position, activate your legs, push in, elevate your butt, and stay locked in, all right? As you grow stronger down there, you can start playing with more time, you can start playing with different variations of the kettlebell position, okay? But give it a shot. It's a good little finisher for your workout and it'll fucking smoke you. Thanks a lot.